Welcome to a very loaded reading vlog. This is going to be a week in my life reading challenge, swapping my screen time for reading time slash birthday week vlog. Let's start, of course, with the reading challenge part because that's most likely what you're here for. I am going to try to read the entire Stalking Jack the Ripper book series in the next five days doing the replacing my screen time for reading challenge. I'm just going to take my average from the entire week and try to read that much every single day. My average screen time from this last week was 5 hours and 21 minutes. I feel like that's even better than my last screen time challenge, which you should definitely go watch, by the way, if you haven't. It is currently 2.45. I definitely waited till way too late to get started on this. I have actually read the first two books of the series more than once. I actually started book three and never finished it, and I have never read book four. I'm just not going to waste any more time. Let's get started. Is it the voices in your Surprise! We went on a little detour. I've been traveling a ton and like flying, so my skin has been absolutely dead. Ooh, let's let's lock the car. So I got a new face lotion because I actually just ran out, and then I got another serum for really dry skin that has worked for me in the past. I was able to get my little birthday fun thingamabob. So I got the Pure Skin Face Cleanser for sensitive skin. Um, if I love it, then that's fantastic. If not, it was free. Being born on a leap day, a lot of places that do the free gift on your birthday don't actually honor leap year babies. Like if it's not a leap year, you don't get anything. So I usually lie and say that I'm born on March 1st or February 28th in order to get a free gift, like from Starbucks, for example. The thing is, is I went here to get my free gift and she was like, it says you're born on March 1st. And then I had to kind of explain everything to her. Thankfully, she was super chill. She just said, oh, I totally would have done the same thing. So she let me have the free gift. I've officially taken a long enough break. It is 5.30 currently, and I'm gonna head home because we have three and a half hours. Okay, yeah, I wanna get home ASAP. I already have such a crazy week this week that I can't afford to not get sleep. So let's bust it home. Let's get comfy in like pajamas or something and let's curl up on the couch or in bed and just crank out the rest of this book. But it's no out a couple more hours of reading a little over two hours I pretty much just need to read for an hour and 15 more minutes I was getting really tired so I thought I'd stretch my legs and probably do my evening routine and then that way as soon as I do finish my book I can just go straight to bed my sister was over this weekend and we celebrated her birthday so I made some dark chocolate cake while she was here and I have a little bit left over and that honestly sounds really good right now but I also feel like hot tea is the vibe. Who says I can't do coffee and tea though? I forgot I had made banana bread so we're doing that instead of cake. So while you're here let's actually talk about the book that I'm reading. Oftentimes you read stuff when you're younger and you fall in love with the book and then you reread that book when you're older and you find that you don't like it nearly as much or you feel silly for ever loving it. That is not the case with this book. Is it definitely made for a younger audience? Yes, but it's still crazy fast paced. So good. A really good mystery and like I literally know how this book ends because I've read it so many times and I'm still extremely engaged. There's a bump on my eyelid and it kind of hurts. <gasps> Am I getting a sty? No, I would cry. Not on my birthday week. We're gonna just 
take off the makeup and hope that's not what this is. Spoiler free likes and dislikes. We'll start with dislikes because I feel like it's really just a minor dislike. There's been a Katniss Everdeen effect on all main female characters. They are not allowed to like wearing pretty dresses. They're not allowed to like feminine things. Can't we have strong women who are still feminine? Because I feel like that's kind of where we get the not a girl's girl. Like some people take it too far and they're just not a girl's girl and they think that makes them like a stronger person. My skin already is like soaking this up. This is awesome. See, I don't even have anything negative to say about the book. It's just kind of like the book world in general. Like, yes, is it an overdone trope? Absolutely. Is this book taking it too far? Not necessarily. Some stuff that I love and I never really considered this before. The romance is very much like Sherlock and Watson coded and I don't know how I never caught that in the past. Rereading it now that I'm older, it seems like to just be blatantly in my face like Sherlock and Watson retelling. Like yeah, it's supposed to be a retelling of J Jack the Ripper, but this is actually low-key a retelling of Sherlock and Watson, but like Watson's a girl. And I kind of like that we're getting a Sherlock and Watson retelling from the perspective of the person who is Watson, not Sherlock. There's some very exciting stuff going on in this book right now, and now that I'm talking about it, I can't wait to get back to reading it. See, I knew I needed this break. Now that my face is nice and crazy oily from all of the products I just put on it, I am ready to curl up back in bed and finish this book. And this is the last time I'm going to talk to you today, because as soon as I'm done, I'm going straight to bed. Let's go finish this book. I woke up early and restarted my timer. I did finish stalking Jack the Ripper and then jumped immediately into Haunting Prince Dracula. I did get a good amount of pages in though before I had to put it down and now I have 15 minutes to get ready for work today. I'm a little nervous about not wearing makeup today. I do have a lot of meetings today. Like my right eyelid is getting really swollen, red and irritated. Looks like we're just gonna go makeup list today. Totally fine, that's totally all right. I should probably take my glasses off for this part. I believe I rated this book five stars when I was younger. It makes sense. For me, five stars is like one of the best books I've ever read. Most likely one of the best books I've read this year. And I think at the time, the types of books I was reading, that was the case. Now that I'm older and I've read like a lot more, it's definitely not like one of the best books I've ever read, but it's still very, very good. I reread books all of the time. My five star rating for rereads is very different from new books. For me, when it comes to a reread, five stars means it's just as good as I remember it. And I would say, yes, this book series is as good as I remember it to be. For that reason alone, I am going to re-rate it in Goodreads as a five star. I don't think I ever even put it in my currently reading. Whenever I do these book challenges, especially like a 24 hour book reading challenge, I don't think to add it to my Goodreads. I'm just cranking books out. Let's actually do that right now before I clock in for work. Ooh, I have two minutes. Let's go. So I don't know when my lunch is going to be, but whenever I do have it, I'm going to try to crank out as much more reading as possible. I got to spend almost 45 minutes of my lunch reading, which was pretty good, but Sebastian got home early. I wanted to spend some quality time with him. So I got a good bit into Prince Dracula and headed back to work, and now it is 5.08. And telling you right now, I don't know how I'm going to fit in another three hours and 21 minutes. I think I'm actually going to read at my desk because I stood for most of the day at work and I'm actually really comfortable right here. I'm gonna light a candle, turn on an ambiance. I found one inspired by the book Dracula, which I think is perfect. If I do crank out reading right now, I should be done around 8.30, 8.45, which is ideal. I am supposed to work out at 8.30. Whether I'll go out to the gym or just do a quick workout at home, 
TBD. My husband is gone all evening for a study group. Now is the best time to get undistracted reading in because I won't feel bad that I'm not hanging out with him. <laughs> like when I do these reading challenges, I feel so bad if I'm like gone for so long reading and I can't actually like spend time with him. Let's get this timer started because I'm ready to go. I'm such an idiot, I'm pathetic, thought I was moving on. absolutely kills me to pause my reading with quite literally 31 minutes left I actually have to start getting ready what I'm gonna do because she's picking me up I'm gonna get ready as fast as possible and then just read as much as I can before she picks me up let's just catch up real quick on this book I wouldn't say I'm disappointed in the book it's still a good book but it's not as good as I remember it to be honestly I think a big part of that is maturing. This book is largely a miscommunication trope, which I think I mistook as slow burn when I was younger. Rookie mistake, truly. I will, however, say that it has occurred to me that I don't actually remember how this book ends. I mean, arguably you could say it's a bad thing because that means it wasn't a memorable ending, but I kind of like not knowing. Also, I am reading at a significantly slower pace today than I was yesterday, which... <laughs> I hope I get my act together if I want to finish all four of these books in five days because at this rate, it's not going to happen. I need to be reading at the rate that I was yesterday. It just occurred to me after my glasses to the gym. I know people do it and it's not like weird to wear your glasses, but I'm not used to it. I just tried to clean these glasses with my jacket and made them a thousand times worse. If, if I need to read a little bit later to get all this done, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, I gotta take these off before I put these ones on. <laughs> We're tired. Oh, those are very clean. I was supposed to call the eye doctor today. She did say that she is running a couple minutes late, so I am going to crank out as many minutes of reading I possibly can until she gets here. Impatiently wait. So she did just text me that she's on her way. Guys, I have eight minutes left on this timer, but I have to go. After getting home from the gym, I did read my last eight minutes, but I really wanted to finish the chapter. So I actually restarted my time for tomorrow, the night before. It was really just a minute, but I'm glad I did it because this morning I actually was able to crank out a lot of reading. I think I'm really picking up my pace and I'm definitely finishing this book today. But of course it was very close to eight so I got ready for today and set up my office and now I'm ready to get started on work. I do have yoga class tonight. It is a one hour class and it takes 20 minutes to get there so that's almost two hours out of my day that I won't be spending reading. Probably gonna have another late night tonight. I feel I feel like this five and a half hour is like it's not enough to drive you crazy but it's just enough to consume my entire day wrote a song but no one's listening to it it's only times like these when i want you back in my room make me feel wanted and a little less confused because i'm swimming laps across some memories so i have a really funny story that's actually not funny at all it is 7 p.m and i have not picked up my book once i clocked out of work at five and my husband was like oh, i'm kind of hungry and i was like dang i'm hungry too let's make stir fry so we made stir fry and then he told me that he had to go to a study group tonight, but he had an hour before he had to leave. And then I was like, I want to spend time with you before you leave. So then we spent an hour together, um, but that hour turned into almost two hours. So it's now a little past seven o'clock 
and I have a little over three hours of reading to do. Now I'm gonna finish my reading after 10 and I have stuff that I actually like need to get done today. Tomorrow morning is something else entirely. Um, we're getting up early tomorrow, actually. Fun fact for you, we are actually gonna make a Starbucks trip tomorrow. Starbucks doesn't recognize leap day babies, which is really, really dumb. If a coffee company gives away one free drink every day on your birthday, but your birthday only exists once every four years, you would think that they would be like, oh, you can come on the 28th or the 1st. But no, companies don't care about you. I'm just kidding. Not that they don't care about you, but like they kind of don't. It hurts my feelings. Okay. Ouch. That hurt. Okay, all that and you didn't even turn on. I'm feeling slightly chaotic right now. I know my monitor isn't working. That's making me really sad actually. I'll cry if you don't work. I'm not gonna cry because I think that'd be a little dramatic, but I might. You would think I'd learned my lesson by now and not blind myself, but I swear. There it is. We got it. It worked. Don't know what I'm feeling. Don't know how to keep my thoughts straight. Yeah. You got me second guessing, thinking that I made a mistake. Two hours and 54 minutes. This one, unfortunately, I think I was just so caught up in how great the aesthetics were that I didn't think about the actual plot. It's really far-fetched. This one just felt so like the author was trying a little too hard to do the most unexpected thing possible. I don't know. This one was not nearly as exciting as I hoped it would be. So as unfortunate as that is, that's just the case. Now this is the one that I actually started at one point and I didn't finish it. I believe I didn't finish it because it wasn't good. Like I kept putting the book down and eventually I put the book down for so long that I didn't even remember where I left off. Is that the Titanic? You see that? That looks like the Titanic. Audrey Rose and her ever vexing companion Thomas, we love Thomas, set sail in the luxurious RMS it Cheeria. Seven nights of carnival entertainment. Ooh, I'm kind of going through a carnival phase thanks to Caraval, so this might totally be up my alley. But the voyage quickly descends into a horror when young women begin turning up dead. Why is it women have to die in every single book? Like, I mean, yeah, some guys died in the last one, but like Jack the Ripper, it was like all women. It seems like the fourth book, Capturing the Devil, is the serial killer in Chicago. And this is only them on the way to America. So this whole thing takes place over the course of seven days. Okay, I think younger me didn't appreciate how stellar this plot sounds. We're going to be jumping into this immediately because I'm actually really excited. Haunted carnival ambiance, this is the thing. With my growing appreciation for The Greatest Showman, the Caraval trilogy, and the Now You See Me movies, I feel like this is going to be a mix of all of those, but like YA fiction. We're starting the timer, we're just shy of three hours. I have just under two and a half hours to get as far into this book as humanly possible, so. so hard for me to say what's really I've got some updates for y'all. I am loving this book. I'm soaking it up. I am on page 74. This is actually kind of spooky. I am home alone currently. All the lights are off except for this lamp. And when I tell you I heard a noise and I jumped so bad. This doesn't feel like a YA book. The other two you can definitely tell are young adult books, but this book just feels like so much more elevated. I don't want to spoil stuff, but like the main girl herself is like going through some major life changes. I don't know, it's very exciting. I'm only on chapter seven and there's already been like multiple deaths. Oh, it sounds so bad. I, I don't wanna say they're creative deaths cause that makes me sound really, really creepy. Each book has followed like a serial killer. Because of that, there's always been like a pattern. With this, everyone is dying differently in unexpected ways and it's not predictable. And it's actually keeping me very invested and very engaged. All right, I'm gonna jump back into it 
and stop wasting your time. No, I can't deny you're the one I'm missing. You help me get by. Don't really know you, but I feel like I do. Don't need a reason why I just vibe with you. So it's been a very chaotic 12 ish hours. So let's recap. I finished my reading for the day. I ended at a cliffhanger. I could not put the book down. I was so tired. I was fighting sleep. Like I had to keep reprying my eyes open to get through this. And I got to almost 52 minutes of reading. I was gonna wake up super duper early. We were gonna go to Starbucks and get my birthday drink and then read until I had to go to work and then take an everything shower on my lunch and then read for whatever time I had left. Sometime after work, I was gonna pack and finish my reading for the day. So I was excited that I read almost an hour last night because that meant an hour less I had to read today. Unfortunately, last night, I kept getting distracted by my phone, so I put it on do not disturb. I don't use the do not disturb button often, so I wasn't aware it was gonna turn off my alarm. My alarm did not go off this morning. I woke up with quite literally zero time, so I washed my hair as fast as I could made some coffee and i'm like a minute before i have to clock into work right now i am going to on my lunch break run and get my starbucks drink once i clock out at five we'll kind of figure it out from there honestly i'm really tempted to as soon as i clock out at least finish this book then pack could i get a venti iced gingerbread latte no oh, sorry I, I'm not, I, sorry, <laughs> that's like my uh, Christmas go-to, but my yeah, non-Christmas, I know, right? My non-Christmas go-to, cinnamon dulce. <laughs> I'm gonna do light ice with that. I'm gonna make it blonde shots. I would right. love vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Oh, uh, ready, what else for you? And then I'm a sucker for the cinnamon dulce topping. Can I just get a ton of that and the cold foam? Oh yeah, we'll load her up for you. Awesome, thank you so much. I just ordered an $8.21 latte. That's actually bonkers. Yeah. Don't fall. How beautiful is this drink? They gave me like extra of everything and they wrote happy birthday on it. This drink tastes like a cinnamon roll. It literally, it's like a mix between a cinnamon roll, a snickerdoodle cookie, and your leftover cereal milk after you've had a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. Honestly, this is making my day because I'll be honest, I don't like to show like sad stuff because I want to keep things here like bright and fun and bubbly but also like I want to be honest some days it feels like everything's going wrong and I know like a little coffee is so cheesy but I am a big sucker for just like romanticizing everything and sometimes romanticizing a cup of coffee it just makes a big difference we got in about 15 minutes but now I have to head back to work but let me just say I love this book I really really do but the main character seems to be making every possible dumb decision she could be making and I can tell the author wants me to feel bad for her facing the repercussions of her actions but I don't she's making really dumb decisions so I hope she gets her act together oh 150 pages she has time to get her act together so we're gonna put the book over here and I'm just gonna focus on work oh no it's nothing can dried hair is actually kind of crazy right now. I'm officially done with work and I actually worked a little late today so it's actually 5 34 5 35 right now. I'm already gonna have to stay up a little late tonight. I passed my bedtime. That's okay. I, I slept in this morning on accident so I guess it's fine. Don't know how much time we have and it's so hard I just finished Escaping from Houdini and I honestly think I can say that this one has been by far the best one. If I started the next book right now and hit go on the timer, I would be finishing almost exactly at 10 p.m. 
Only issue is that I want to go to the grocery store. I still have to pack though, but I might pack tomorrow. I kind of forgot to start the laundry. We'll figure that out when we get there. You know, I'm going to go to the grocery store, but I really want it to be done in like five seconds. So I'm actually not going to bring my camera. I'm not going to vlog it because that's going to make it last longer. It is currently 7.42. Let's see what time it is when I get back. It is 8.31. One of my birthday presents came in the mail and I opened it and I was like freaking out about it. So I called my mom. Well, she didn't answer, but then I ended up texting my mom and then I got to Walmart and I got these. I'm trying to save money right now, so I'm not getting my nails done, but also I work from home and I feel like I'm typing on a keyboard all day. So I want to have really cute nails. Only thing is you can't really put these on while reading. So this might have to wait till later tonight or early in the morning. I'm not really sure yet. We will waste absolutely no time jumping into capturing the devil. And for those of you who don't know, I believe this was like a serial killer in Chicago in the very late 1800s or very early 1900s. The love interests have gone through a journey throughout these past couple books. And let's just say I'm really hoping everything gets resolved here because I love them as a couple. I just think both of them need to grow up a little bit. <laughs> I don't know why, but this one just doesn't sound that exciting to me. I know that sounds horrible. Ooh, but the art. A map of Chicago. Just kidding, that's New York City. <laughs> Chapter one, death comes swiftly. This is dark. I feel like after I'm done reading all of these books, I need to read something really light and fluffy <laughs> to like recover from the darkness. We're just gonna read until the timer goes out. In a very tragic turn of events, jail, absolute jail time to this author because the way that she had me so head over heels for this love story. And then she just revealed that the boy in this book is about to have his 18th birthday party. The intensity of the flirtation and also the fact that she waited till book four and that just feels icky. Can't really say much without spoiling anything really but i will say here's the here's here's the thing this book is way more focusing on romance than any of the other books had which i was super pumped about until i found out that they were teenagers now i'm like can we just get back to murder please i'm surprised on how little murder mystery has happened i'm so annoyed because i think i would be head over heels in love with this book right now if they weren't teenagers. And it's not even that I care that they're teenagers, it's I hate the fact that we're just now finding out they're teenagers because I almost want to reread the entire series now with a whole different mindset because this changes everything. I'm actually gonna use this time to say, hey, if there's any series that y'all wanna see me read, whether it's a series you love and you want my opinion on, or it's one that you want to read and you want like a spoiler-free review before you jump into it, just let me know in the comments below and I might do it. This is a spoiler free vlog, so I'm not gonna say anything. Let's just say our female protagonist needs someone to slap her upside the head, just a little bit, like in a friendly way. She's like genuinely making me mad right now. I've never liked a book series so much that the main character annoyed me. I wouldn't say she's annoying, eh, maybe she is. Let's just keep reading. I take back everything I said. The plot is twisting. We're getting into the thick of it. Chapter 18, just change the game. I spoke too soon. This plot's interesting, and now I have a feeling they're gonna jump right back into the murder mystery, and I'm not gonna get any more of the romantic side plot. I don't know what else to say. Ain't no particular reason, just hit by your way. Today is a very special day because it's my birthday. I haven't had a birthday in four years. This is just really exciting for me. I did my nails last night after I finished reading. I kind of got this like burst of awakeness, you know, like after you accomplish something. And guess what? The sty is practically gone. Like the eye is swollen, but if I press down on my eyelid, I can't feel 
the sty. I'm also woken up to so many sweet text messages. Let's talk about something really interesting that happened today. I was looking at different ebooks and audiobooks that I have available on Libby, which is a library provided app of free audiobooks and free ebooks from your local library. I went to go get a book because I was like, oh, I want to read this. Um, and then I got a notification that said like, you've been blocked from borrowing anything from your library. And I was just like, and then it said like re-put in your library card and I was like it can't have expired I literally got this like a couple months ago like I literally did a whole vlog about it in I think October my heart dropped to my toes when I put in my library card number and it said you have a book well overdue and can no longer make rentals until you return your book and pay the fee and I was like what book that's when it's scary when you don't even know what book they're referring to it's a book I borrowed last Christmas that I've had in my possession for about two months. So I am kind of scared to see the fee. I'm leaving my house and I'm not gonna be back for 11 days uh, cause we're doing three trips back to back. So not only do I have to finish capturing the devil today, but I also have to return this library book, pay the fee and pack. Not scary at all. My face without makeup is one thing, but my face without makeup for multiple days where there's like absolutely no residue of makeup whatsoever, it's actually not bad. Like, I think my confidence without makeup has skyrocketed this week. I don't need makeup. And it feels good to say that, but let's put it on anyways. <sighs> After I logged my four hours of work, I clocked out and got ready to go because Sebastian and I did have to run a few errands. I finished getting ready before him, so I read a little bit before we left, and then I read the entire time in the car. Made myself a little bit sick, so I didn't record much, but... I did get a good bit done. I have less than 100 pages now left of the book and then I was on the phone with my mom so I already kind of started packing but we still need to pack. But I'm also just trying to pack really comfortably and things with a lot of layers because all three different areas of our trip, one is freezing cold, the other one is kind of in the middle, and the other place is pretty warm so I have to pack for 11 days for all the weather. So I am officially packed and I cleaned around the house a little bit and Sebastian just finished parking everything into the car. So I guess we're gonna go. I still have no clue where we're going and I actually didn't get to pick up the book at all. I'm still at an hour and 30 minutes, but honestly, I'm not trying to fill the five and a half hours. I'm just trying to finish this book today. And because I have a uh, less than a hundred pages, it shouldn't take me more than an hour. But according to Sebastian, it's going to take us an hour or less to get there. So I don't know when I'm going to fit that reading in. We're going to do our best and we're going to try to make it work. Sebastian ended up taking me to an Airbnb farm in Asheville where they had a Harry Potter themed Airbnb. It was super duper cute. There was a lot of attention to details and two of our closest friends were there and we had honestly the most amazing time. I did not however pick up my book a single time until the morning after on March 1st but I was able to read the rest of it and now the book is done. And now I am back home from all of my trips. It's actually been two weeks, but that's good because I've had time to think about the books and give you real honest opinions about them. And once again, these will continue to be spoiler free. Stalking Jack the Ripper. This is honestly a really good book. If you're looking for something fun and cozy and a lighthearted murder mystery, this is going to be a really great book for you to pick up. I actually totally recommend this. For Haunting Prince Dracula, although the aesthetic is perfect and it had so much potential, this one sadly was not very good for the plot. I would say this one's more about the journey and not really the destination. I hated the ending but honestly I really did enjoy a plot taking place in Romania. Then there's Escaping from Houdini which was my personal favorite. Another one where I didn't exactly love how the author chose to end the book but I did absolutely love the whole journey of getting there. This one I would highly recommend, especially if you love Caravelle. And then last, Capturing the Devil. As far as murder mystery goes, this one was really, really bad. If you're really into romance though, this is probably the book for you. Unfortunately, I just could not get past the fact that the characters have been teenagers this entire time. And I think that really just put a sour taste in my mouth so that I could not enjoy this book. And then when the killer was identified, 
identified it was honestly a really big letdown for me it definitely wasn't as epic as the author let it out to be and that is my opinion of the jack the ripper books i hope you enjoyed me fighting through a very emotionally low and high week and in case you're wondering 24 does feel great and honestly if you made it this far into the vlog why aren't you subscribing honestly at this point you need to be subscribing why don't you hit that subscribe button and then you'll get a notification every single time i post a new video and yeah see you next monday